morning, everybody. Good morning. And happy bloody holidays. So it is. And it's freezing and the car coming. We're going to get killed. It, it, yeah, we're, uh, it's the following morning from the last vlog. Uh, we were absolutely exhausted after a 10 hour drive. We decided to have a sleep at about 4 a.m. Uh, 4 p.m. yesterday, just for a couple of hours. We woke up at 5 a.m. this morning. No, so. we didn't. We woke up at half past eight. Last, yeah, I put the dog out at half past eight, went yeah. back to bed and then woke up at 5am this morning. Yeah. So. Yeah. so we're feeling a lot better today, a lot fresher. Oh, thank goodness. But mm. we're in for another long drive. We yeah. are going to Limoges. Yes. Today. I don't know what we're doing around here, I'm sure. I don't know, having a look. Yeah, so uh, it's another day on the road, people. It is, but uh, this place is its very quaint. It's very uh, oldie worldy. Yeah, I'll just flip the camera around. There you go. Everything seems shut though yet again. Not a lot to see. No, it is very, very, very beautiful, quaint place. Beautiful. Like you're looking very pretty today. Shut up, Robert. Beautiful, quaint church. Look at that. Yeah, I've shown the church yesterday, I think. Yeah, and the bells go off. <laughs> every hour, yeah. especially midnight, but we didn't hear them, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, every hour the bloody bells go bang, bang, bang. So well, actually, no, they go ding, ding, ding. So the only shop. And sometimes they go bang, bang, bang. The only shop. Shut like up! <laughs> the only shop that really looks like it's going to be open at some point is the hairdressers there. Yes. Very pretty. Yes, but you don't need your hair doing, love. I really do. No, you don't. It needs washing, but I can't get that done. You I always look very, up. very pretty. Shut up, brother. For God's sake, what are you after? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to uh, crack on. Get back on the highway, as they say. First stop, diesel. Yeah, diesel and diesel, that's it. And what, where are we headed to? Limoges, which is, well, um, apparently, I can't, pronounce, I can't think of the name of it offhand, but there's a village there that was bombed during World War II and it's actually, as is, still like it now. So it's deserted, ghost town. Yeah. It looks a really interesting place. So that's where we're heading for this morning. Yeah. But this morning is, it says a three hour drive. But in France, if it says a three hour drive, you're probably talking for four and a half hours. Yeah, you've got to put a good hour on. Every time you put it into your sat nav, you must put about an hour on to get anywhere in France because the place is bloody huge. Yes. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky for warmer climates because I want to wash my van down because it's a disgrace and I couldn't sleep properly last night. It's, uh, well, you saw it on the last vlog, it is absolutely minging. Yeah, but to be honest, the roads we've been down on the way here, there's not a lot you can do about that, to be honest, if you want to avoid tolls anyway. Yeah, and uh, both of us feel 100% better today. Whatever bug we had seems to have disappeared, thank goodness. Yes, happy days, people. Happy holidays. So we're going to crack on. Come on, Steve. How long, how long mate? We've how got to long? get off. We've got to get back on the highway. Oh, minutes. Well, I've got to take silver screen off. Look at the state of his run as well. Thank you. Yeah. Not a lot you can do about that, to be honest. We'll get Sue's on it after. Yeah. Clean them all up. Yeah, with a little brush. Yeah, perfect. Uh, we've also got uh, Steve and Sue's mate here, which is Andy, which I'm going to go around now. Now, he bought this van, converted it for £7,500. So that's with the price of the van. Uh, VW Crafter. Andy, I'm coming in. Excuse me. I'm coming <laughs> in, mate. How much do you say it costs you to do? Two and a half grand for the van. Yeah. Four and a half grand to build it. For that include doing the cam belt water pump on it, a load of brake work, and putting knobbly tyres on it. Yeah. So they probably weren't needed, but I wanted it. Oh, don't go on, Andy, because I've got to get off. <laughs> well, I was trying to put my van back together. Yeah, so, I mean, look. Full double bed in it, six foot two wide. Yeah. Toilet, panel, cooker. panel the roof, lights in the roof, put a unit in there. Perfect. Absolutely bang on it. Yeah. Happy with it. Who yeah. was the one who actually did the work? Me. Who did the wiring? Bryson. Who did the roof? Me and you. Hang on, we don't want a domestic on our vlog, thank you. <laughs> anyway, for that much money, it just goes to show what you can do to get on the road. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, mate. No worries. Come on, Suze. Proper little grafter, Suze is. All right, Suze. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see how, see how uh, good grafting you're doing when you're cleaning our vans later. You can clean our van, you're in front, giving us all the mud. Oi, no, don't be like that. <laughs> Come on, get it in, get it away. All right, people, we are at... Oridor, Oridor, Seglan. 
It is a Took village. Took the words right out of my mouth. It is a village outside Limoges. Uh, we just stopped, went and drove through Limoges. We were going to stop there, but we went, we went to get a bit of shopping and that's all. So the village that we're at is one that was bombed in, in the war and has just been left. So we're going to see if we can get in there. I don't think we can take dogs in. So we're going to have a wander about and have a look. Yeah, happy with our people, happy. So we're all parked over there, look. Bus is still dirty, but I'll soon sort that out. Yes, yeah, so apparently we park, we have parked up there. So apparently if you walk down here, we think, not too sure yet, right down there, round there, and you're going to the visit, visitor centre to enter the, enter the ruins. So we'll have a look. So we're just walking into the place, people. Yeah. And these are obviously the people that died in the village. Some of them. Yeah. School children. Uh, there's a picture there of school children between 1942 and 1943. Yeah. There you go. Very sad. Yeah. On the 10th of June, 200 Waffen SS travelling between two quarters committed here an act of terror. They plundered and set fire to the village and massacred 642 people, including 193 children. Bad. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. And these are the photos of some of the people that were massacred. Absolutely terrible. Yeah. And that runs both sides. As you come to the entrance outside. Yep, so this is the entrance to the village. Remember, we put on the wall and it should be remembered. Yeah, yeah it must have been horrendous. Back in the day, for a hundred now, many? 193 children, so I think 600 and something people. And just to be walking around this village, you can imagine the fear of the, yeah. the way they were out, sitting on fire, bombed. It was yeah. horrendous. Well, God knows what really went on here back in the day. Yeah. It's such an eerie place to be walking around. It is. Definitely well worth a visit. It really is. And it's all free. Mind you, to be honest, I know I joke a lot about paying out for things and whatever, but to be honest, I would have paid to come in here because it's worth having a look back at the history of what people went through back in the day. If it was in the UK, you'd have definitely paid. Oh yeah, 100%. Gosh, I can't believe the way it's, it is. And it's, it's nice that they have left it the way it is so they can be remembered. Yeah. What, sorry? I presume that would have been the dentist, the sign still on the wall. Yeah. It's just mad what people do to each other, isn't it? Yeah, and they used to sell wool over there back in the day. Yeah, just saying, if you ever come over here or whatever country, Google Translate is brilliant. Yes. You couldn't do without it. I'll take it this used to be an old garage of some description. Well, it was a garage because it says it there, look, garage. Well, this, this place here was an insurance company. Was it? Okay, according to Google Translate, yes, and this is a garage. Yeah, now I don't, yeah, there's an old scrap car down there, look, an old, old car. Yeah. And that used to be the Forger's place, by the looks of it. Yeah, talking about old cars. I've even left one, it looks like that's where it's been since it's been blue to bits. Fascinating. You are looking pretty today. 
and that used to be a pississerie just goes on and on and on I'm quite surprised Lynn I'm quite surprised not more people got killed to be honest looking at the size of the place yeah And that's some of the things there that have been took out of the uh, devastation, the slaughter of these lovely people. Yeah, terrible. Children's bikes, a little pram there, look. Yeah. And yeah, in here, um, it's a list of all the names, again, everyone who was murdered. Yeah, very fitting tribute to all those people that lost their lives. In fact, I don't like to paint up a bit in it, by the looks of it. Just again, more things that we took out of the wreckage. Yeah. And then there you've got people's watches, pocket watches. And some banknotes, old banknotes, and coins. Yeah, sorry if we're echoing a bit because it's, well, it's echoing in here. But yeah, in total, there's 640 inhabitants, 197 men, 241 women, and 205 children. And then just as you walk out of here, we're not going to film it for long, but uh, you've got the graveyard. Very, very sad. Really sad. And there's the graveyard. Yeah, with the, the, the poor the souls life. that lost their lives. Really sad. Yeah. A couple more old cars there, which are parked, I presume, outside somebody's house. Yeah. Man, it's so bad. It's terrible. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on this uh, camera, but you've got uh, a family there, the pictures on a memorial plaque that used to live in this house. Yeah, so sad. All right, Susie uh, has got a bit of information for us. Crack on. <laughs> so apparently it was done as a retaliation uh, for one of their generals, a Nazi generals being killed by the French. They came in, they took the village over and um, got everybody in the square to show the papers. Then um, they took the men to the barns, locked them in six barns, brought the women and children to a church. They set an incendiary device off next to the church and as the women and children came out they shot them with machine guns. With the men they took them into the barn, shot them in the legs, covered them up and burned them. I think there was one survivor out of all of it. Unbelievable. What are you doing? <laughs> Taking over my job? You're going to lose believable. your job if you don't <laughs> book your ideas up. Bloody hell, Suze. So we are now leaving that stunning place. It's uh, well, definitely well worth a visit if, you, if you're coming down this way. And uh, we've had a, a group meeting and decided now to carry on to as far as we can drive. We're looking to get there about half past seven tonight to a place called Montec probably not pronounced that way uh, but yeah it's just above Toulouse so it's another four hours drive from where we are just sort of let you know what we're up to so it's going to be another mammoth drive in today and then hopefully we'll actually get into Spain tomorrow Yay! that's the plan but at least where we're going it's going to be a balmy seven degrees by night and I think ten degrees by day so happy with that Happy with that, people? Happy. And it's uh, another camping car park that we're using. I think this one's 10 euros for the night, six amp electric, water, toilet dump, all that. So, yeah, as long as we can get somewhere to get our heads down, get some food, and I need a shower and wash my hair. Desperately. I desperately need to wash my hair. Women understand these things, men don't. Good morning, everybody. Another beautiful Rainy, really? dreary day yeah. here in France. But it's 10 degrees. Yes. So we're happy with that. And there's a bin lorry going to run me over in a second. Yeah. I mean, I've got no sleeves, look. 
First no, time, oh no. first time since we've been to France. We are at again a camping car park in Montec, just yeah. uh, north of Toulouse. So yeah, that, we're just going to go and have a walk now, see if we can see anything. How much is this one per night? Ten euros. Ten euros, boy. How much is that? About eight quid. Some, something like that. Yeah, something like. Happy and with we've, that? We've got again six amp electric water, toilet dump, grey waste dump. Yeah, but the six amp electric is, I must stress, is only to charge your batteries up. You know, when phones and things, you can't run your heat in absolutely no way because it keeps tripping it. Yeah. And there's a lorry coming. Let's yeah. crack on. I'm just, yeah, I'm mindful of the lorry. So let's go on the, on the path there, look. Yeah, but it's all muddy. Yeah, so the uh, the drive on the way down here. Well, Lynn wasn't very happy, to be honest. I really wasn't. We, I did say the night before we weren't doing any more night driving. But I was overruled by the men and they said they wanted to crack on. So... We drove non-toll from Limoges to Montic, where we are now, non-toll. Uh, the roads were going up and down mountain. Sorry about that, I had to stop because Mavis decided she wanted to poop. And if you've noticed, I've swapped sides because this is my better side. Have you got a good side? Believably. Right, so as I was saying, yeah, we went up and down mountains. Up and down, up and down. Round and round and round twisty wiggly roads. There was, they do not believe in street lighting in France. They haven't even got cat size on the roads. And we uh, entered loads of, uh, entered? Went into, I don't know, really thick fog. Couldn't see. Yeah, bad fog oh, to be honest. It was a horrendous drive. But can I just say, can I just stop you there for a second? As soon as I get back, the first job I'm going to do is change the bulbs on the bus, on Definitely. the headlights, because they are crap. And it, which makes it worse that you've got the stickers on. Which... Hang on, you're going, you're running off, hang on. Thanks. Trying to get through that. Um, you've got the, we've got the stickers obviously on the lights, which are, make it even worse. Yeah. Now, in general, the the, the bulbs are crap in the yeah. in the bus. Crap. So Rubbish. again, I think I might have said it on the last one. If not, if you're coming over here and you haven't done it before, make sure you stick to um, daylight driving. <sighs> horrible, horrible, it's a bit horrible. Exciting on a light, man. It was. You know what I mean. Get the no. back end out around the lanes. And as somebody commented uh, on the last vlog, he used to be a HGV driver. He has seen a lot of accidents on these roads. We actually went there, came across one yesterday, didn't we? Yes, because to be honest, they do drive a bit rather fast. Yeah, they've got no worries about overtaking on bends, and it's just, oh. No. Just one of them. But anyway, rent over, let's crack on. Where are we, where are we going? I don't know. We're going towards the canal. I'm going to show you a bit of water now, people. <laughs> why water. I do not know why. But my little fruit cake here, my little angel. We need some exercise, being as we're going to be sat on our asses all day again for another six hours. Yes. We are heading today. Hope think I think the consensus is we're going to go to a place called Roses. Swap arms. Um, it's right. It's on the med. It's on a beach. Uh, the weather's not brilliant it's about 14 15 degrees a lot better than you're getting at home though yeah. so it's actually 10 degrees here now so yeah, it's not too I'm bad. down to just a thin jumper yeah but I've put my coat on because it's very damp this she's, morning she's uh I've got me uh, mankini and she's got a bikini ready for the beach no I wouldn't do that to you like I'd scare you to death both Ooh. of us that is <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable it's unbelievable yeah so we have just walked over there from the uh, camping car park and then you can go for miles. Look at the width for this canal. It'd be brilliant for the scooters. What? Brilliant for the scoots. We haven't got the scooters out yet, have we? No, not yet. I mean, look at it, man. It's how wide it is. God knows where it takes you, but I reckon you go for miles and miles and miles. Yeah, so if anybody's wondering, that's where we are. Montec. Is it Montec? Is that how you pronounce it? No idea. She's wandering off again. Oh, back going, Ray! Yeah, and then you come to these, uh, we think, the houseboats. Not too sure, but they might be on there. Well, that one there, there's a log burner in, so it, I think they're a, a bigger version of our narrow boats. Maybe. Who knows? That's a nice boat over there, look. It's very nice. I bet it's toasty in there with a log burner. I've had an idea. What? Let's get a boat and sail the seven seas. No. Why? I'm seasick. Bloody hell. No sense of adventure, these old birds. Yeah. And then obviously it comes to a bit of a marina down there. 
very nice, very good. Can I just say one thing? What? You are looking very pretty today. Shut up, Robert. Have you said anything about the traffic lights on the canal? Yes, there's a traffic light system on the canal there, but I'm sure they have those in our country as well. Do they? I've never seen a traffic light on well, the canals we've been on. Well, to be honest, I'm never wrong, so the problem is. <laughs> You're always bloody wrong. And yeah, little Mavis hasn't had a very good couple of days because she's just been stuck in her bed um, for travelling. So we've just been letting her out for a wee for food. Quick wonder, but yeah, this is the first time she's had a proper walk, really. Yeah. But yeah. There she is, look, enjoying life. Wait. There you go. She's got little legs, aren't you? Hers a littler. Look, see how she... I don't know if I picked it up on the camera, but she walks a limp. There's nothing wrong with her. She just keeps picking her back leg up. And she wants to... That see that? Yeah. See that? It's because she wants to be picked up, so she pretends she's limping, so I'll pick her up and carry her. Hey, hang on, can I pretend I'm I'll limp? JCB couldn't pick you up. Unbelievable, is it? Some only I'm having, folks. I can't believe what you just said. Well, you know the signs on the motorways and whatever they're called over here, so they've got speed things. Speed limits. Speed limits. Well, there's one over there that says 90, and I just said, does that mean you can do 90 on the canal? Well, if you'll have a look at it, you'll see what I mean. Unbelievable. So, little sign over there. Yeah, to me, that means no parking, but you can do 90 kilometres an hour. I was joking, okay? No, I think you were serious. <laughs> Come on, you're going a bit red, Not aren't you? 90 kilometres an hour to the red traffic lights. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, so that's the view of the car park. And apparently there's 18 pitches here. Bit tight if you ask me to get 18 vans on here, but there you go. I just like to mention this because I think this is a fantastic idea. Because most of these on these things have got a, a push button, which lasts about, I don't know, a couple of seconds and it goes off and you have to push it again. But on this, you just press that button there, and that will stop on until you press that button, which is absolutely fantastic, a lot better than usual. So we're leaving Montec now, heading for Roses in Girona, Spain. You can't whack it, people. We're gonna crack on. Get on the side for a couple of days and get hammered. That's the plan. We've had, I've had two drinks, well, we've had two drinks in two days, so. Yeah, if we go through the town, we'll show you the town. Yeah, so we've done really, really well. But the lights have just stopped me. And these lights stop on me for ages. They do. So I'll pick you back up in a second. Well, this is the uh, little town of uh, Montec. I do say over in France, they decorate the place is absolutely beautiful. There aren't many examples here at the moment, but driving through on a night, you just, we've drove through lanes and you just come to a, like a, des a, a, a desolate area and you just get one farmhouse uh, and it's all really lit up. I mean, you can see from this island here, um, that, that would look absolutely beautiful on an evening. So get the back end out people around here. Don't run no French people over. No, it's not a good plan, is it? quite busy here actually. We did drive through Limoges yesterday and that was a... Always give way to big lorries because I'll run you over. Because that was a big city and it was uh, not a nice place to drive through. Definitely glad that we did because initially we were looking at stopping there. Couldn't find many airs, wondered why, but once we drove through we knew why. So yeah, this is uh, a bandstand over there. And watch these speed humps as well, bloody everywhere. Up and down, nice, up and down. Nice building. And a big church. Loads of churches over here. Oh, that, yep. Yeah. So that's about it for at the moment, if I see anything else. Otherwise, we're going to say goodbye soon so I can get this vlog on ready. So we're going to crack on with our journey now because uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be much to see. Uh, but if there is, it'll be on the next vlog. Uh, while I'm at it, I don't know if any of you have heard of Polar Steps, but it's a way that you can follow the routes that we're taking and I'll be putting photographs on of each destination where we stop. I'll put that link in the description below, so if you'd like to follow us and see where we're going and you can actually, I think, live track us as we're driving, so that's 
it is, it is interesting. Well, I find it interesting. So, yeah, if you yeah, like... It's my idea, to be honest with you. Obviously it wasn't. We didn't even know I was doing it for the first couple of days. Yeah, so uh, on that note, people, we will stay... Hang on, sorry again. On that note, people, we will say our farewells. So stay away... I can't, I can't believe you say Stay safe for the caravan as Mojo Amos tenders drift and subscribers on you. We still love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. In a bit.